Okay, so I just wanted to let you see my little storage for flour only is all in a bin and and overflowing. Uh, seems like I bought way more millet flour than I thought or I wanted to. I have one, two, three, four, that one over there, four, and five millet bags. I'm going to give you a close-up so that you could see the label and who I got it from. The first millet ba ba bag was not five pounds. Huh. It must have been... It, it, that's This over here is 25 pounds. It, it was probably 50 pounds. Uh, similar to a bag like this over here. Uh, it was a lot bigger. Now, let's see what's in here. I'm going to have to... I thought I was done, but I'm not. This is quinoa. So this quinoa... I've, I've collected uh, gallon bottles like this that is going to go into because it's whole and it's not powder, it's not milled. It, it, it's safe to go in this packaging. So the, these are stuff that I've used, MCT oil. Um, I do have plenty of jars that I've been saving. Uh, I always prefer to use glass jars, but the glass jars that I have are not big enough to accommodate that big bunch there. I used to have big, large ones, actually. Um, I could use... I could use one of my water bottles. Frankly, it probably would be very smart to do. Because at PBA Free, they're proofed for water. They're proofed for water. Uh... It should be good for grains, not, not, not again, powdered, never use put powder like flour in, in plastic. Always keep it in paper. Uh, frankly, I could probably, I don't know how well it would go, but it, 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 whenever in doubt, I mean, I, you, you know, rolls that come like this with paper, I probably could stuff it in here. Uh, if I'm going to put flour, I could actually stuff it in here if I'm going to put flour and see if I could seal it from the top. That I could do, like make sure that all of its surroundings are made of paper. The only thing is, um, how do you know when the paper is sanitized? I mean, I am using paper bags uh, for my storage, as you saw, I'm trusting that it is good enough. Um... I don't know that I could buy a roll of this paper and use it for the parameters of this and use it for flour because I don't know. I could sanitize this with, with UV light, actually. I can do that. Uh, so that's a possibility. In the meantime, I guess I'm not done with the millet bags right here. Uh, I could see if I could fit this into the machine, but I don't think so. Um... And put sort of like a paper bag over on top to cover, keep the flour from being uh, uh, vacuumed in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm starting out by cutting the very top of the millet bag. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try to get creative because my vacuum machine takes only a certain size, a certain proportion. So I'm thinking maybe... I could just fold this and maybe before folding it, this is picky about its proportions, right? I could cut out a bag. Okay, so I could cut out a bag. Let's see how good I am. Yeah, never know, right? Maybe I could outsmart, maybe I can outsmart the vacuum sealer machine. So let's see. So I just cut off the top. I'm thinking here, this is not a vacuum sealer uh, bag, but I'm going to try it out anyway. I'm, I have nothing to lose because these bags, um, nope, they're not vacuum sealer bags. Okay, so see, I've already covered it on the top with a paper bag. Let's see how creative I can get. Don't mind my mess, right? 
I mean, when you have a workshop, it's never pretty, right? It's never pretty. All right, so hmm. let's see. Let's see if I can make this work. I know that my vacuum machine does not work with with a uh, wide wide machine wide uh they have to be pretty narrow right so maybe i can fool it right let's see if i could do that let's see so i'm putting this in this is the way i usually put the narrow ones and it's only needing it's seeing a narrow bag is what it's seeing right so maybe i could fool it let's see i've been at it with this machine Let's see, one, two, three. You will see, you will know. Okay, how come I can't? Okay, you're going to be able to, to see if it's working or not. Very soon. So far, it's not. So far, it's not. Because it is a fussy, fussy little machine, okay? So maybe if I narrow it but scrunch down... Facing down. I mean, you never know, right? Let's see what happens. I hope not to break the machine for sure. But uh, you gotta have it face down so it can suck up some air. And I'm not too sure. Okay. I'm not feeling anything so far. No pull. No pull whatsoever. At least I'm trying, right? Because you never know, right? You never know. Oh, boy. I don't know what to do here. Maybe if I go this way in and in. And I mean, if I could scrunch it in there and make it believe that it's its own, the bag it takes. <laughs> but I doubt it. But you never know, right? Just a couple of tries. Just a couple of tries. I'm gonna put the top over it so it can suck up the air from the top, from the opening. Oh boy, I'm not too sure about this. Right, you never know. Right? You just never know. I know this machine knows its bags. And it's like you're not fooling me. Ah. Can't fool it. Can't fool the back. Can't fool it. Can't fool it. It's not going to do it. It's not going to cut it. All right. So don't try this at home. I already tried it for you. Just so you know, it won't even take this bag because of the width. And it's pretty much just as wide. Um, maybe if I widen it, maybe if I cut it to proportion and seal it. But no. Okay, time to get with the story. Now I got lots of work to do. I have like five of these bags that I'm not really happy I discovered. But then again... Maybe one day I'll be happy because I'm doing the right thing here in preparing. So actually, this doesn't look... The flower I bagged does not look like this. Look at that. Oh, where's, where's the focus here? Okay, where is it? Okay. So this flower over here does not look like this. So that tells me that what I was packing, I lost the label. It's, it's here someplace. But it doesn't look like it. So while this is millet, the one in the bag, the one in the spoon is what I just finished packaging. They're not the same thing. They do not align. So I don't know what kind of flower this other thing was. And so it all begins again. So I am scooping a large spoon into the bag. Uh, 
I'm going to have to learn how to measure and figure out how many scoops I'm putting. Uh, I think probably up to four spoons. So if it's up to four spoons, the five pound bag is going to go down pretty fast. Oh, that's encouraging. Oops. Okay. I'm going to make this the sixth one, I think. Because I see that there's plenty of room still in there. So that makes me feel happy. So now I'm going to close it in, sort of like the way they do it in the stores. Oops, there it ripped a little bit there, but this is in the top. I'm going to elongate it, okay, because I want it to be long and thin as opposed to bulky and thick, okay, like a hot dog, right? So. I'm going to have to cut up more of these bags because I thought the project was over as far as, well, I mean, part one of the package at least, but no. Okay, so here it goes. All right, so this is, I'm going to vacuum pack this one, okay? And that's where I'm going to package all of them. See you soon. Okay, so you can see that I'm just packaging it only to seal it later so i think that this millet bag took five vacuum sealed bags okay this is the end of it okay as you can see i'm at the end of the bag so this time now i'm going to just pour it in okay because i'm pretty sure that this will oh Pretty sure. Oh, I'm not too sure now. Let's see. So I, the way I do it is I make it face down, sort of like when you buy a flower bag. That's the way it usually looks. And this one over here, and this overpowers it. Then and I'm, gonna, and I'm going to make it long, right? And this flower here from has been sitting there. So I think this is going to work. Okay, so now I found out how I could use this bag. These wide bags, you see how it's open here from, from the, this end here? Okay, they're just too wide. Although it looks like the vacuum sealer could handle it, it could only seal. At least it could do that. So what I'm doing is, um, thinking outside the box, and I'm going to seal this edge here. And then I'm going to cut this from the top, stuff it, and then vacuum seal it. And so I could actually reuse it. Uh, because a wide bag like this, it does not vacuum seal. Okay, it doesn't vacuum seal because it's too wide. But it, it, it does vacuum seal this way. But it does seal this way. So I'm going to seal it. And then I'm going to open it on the top. And it's going to be just like the other bags that I've used. So sometimes... You have to just think outside the, the box. And so here we are again. So now I'm going to do just what I said. It's, it seals wide, but it doesn't vacuum wide. So I'm going to seal this part here. As you can see, it's a mess in here. And you see it blinking? That means it's working. And now it's steady. That means it's almost done. So when I see it blinking and then get going steady, I know it works. Because these machines don't work all around see that means it's done so my creativity worked for it uh, i could salvage the major the bigger bags right i just sealed the top part right and now I'm, all i'm gonna do i'm just creating the same size bag as the other one i'm gonna cut this part over here now they say that you should wipe the inside the top part of the inside surface clean but to be honest with you, I'm not really sure it's a big deal, quite frankly. But I'm going to be obedient because some someone else said that the surface should be clean. I guess for when it... Okay. At this point, I'm not, I'm not being as careful with the sanitary end of it. <laughs> uh, okay. So now, this is long way in. Actually, I'm going to put the opening part in first and now 
this is ready to be sealed. I'm going to vacuum seal this. And now I'm going to let you see how I pile it up. So maybe if you do this, you can kind of like it could rub off to do it the right way. Okay, so this is really a real little tiny bit, which quite frankly, it's good for me because I'm single and I really don't need a whole bag. But when I'm hungry, if things will go bad and I'm hungry, I'm pretty sure I'm going to eat way more of this than expected. Okay, so now the bag is full. I don't know why I put a hole. Oh, because there's a, there was a hole here. That's why I see I put a little thing that there was a hole. I was covering the hole. <laughs> I had punctured a hole, I guess. I don't know why I put that there. But this is the bag, the millet bag. It comes from Blue Mountain Organics. This one is not a sprouted one. I guess you don't sprout millet, I guess. It's five pounds. I wish you could, I could show it to you where you could read it. Because I'm not sure it's that legible like the, it's like in bold. Oh, it says keep refrigerated for maximum use. So that's why I put it in the freezer uh, to make sure. All right, let me get, grab another bag. I ran out of bags. I guess I could do I have a roll here, right? So I could roll a little tiny one because that's all in and then cut it, right? There's a whole roll here and I could then cut it to size so I don't have to worry that this is a tiny little bag. Okay. It's really, 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 really tiny. <laughs> Frankly, maybe I should keep this and I think I'm going to keep this and I'm going to put it in my bread maker. Um... Just to see what the combination of millet and I'm not sure what the other one is would be like in baking. And I think I'm gonna make like empanadas with this. So why even bother bagging this, right? Why bag? Why bother? Right. So I'm just gonna keep this in my kitchen, and hopefully this will be my next experiment in making bread. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go get another millet bag, but I'm not going to bore you because you already saw me unpack um, a five pound one. And the first session that I did, that was, that that could have been 30, 40 pounds. Um, it could have been 50 pounds, frankly, because it, it seemed at least the size of the five bags that I had that were five pounds each. It seemed like double. So it's very possible that the other bag was uh, 50 pounds. So thank you for keeping me company and have a wonderful day. I'm trying to help you uh, do this and observe my errors only so that you won't do it. Have a great day.